Hello again everybody, it's me again, Madame Macabre, and today I am here with another update video. As you can sort of see right in this area, I have just today actually gotten a brand new microphone set up, so I'm hoping that will bring a much more professional sound to my future works. It's a big step up from my last one. This is my first professional microphone, so we'll see how that goes. See if I can figure out how to work with it all right and everything. But uh, without further ado, I've got a little bit of news and things to touch on. Um, as those of you who've been following me for a while have probably noticed, I have been lately trying out a lot of different types of content. Lots of different things, whether it be Let's Plays, different types of narrations, like the newest example, though, the examples of the three true story type thing. Even doing my songs was more of a new thing for my channel. If you've been following me for a long time, you probably have recognized that I like to branch out and try new things. This whole channel started out as just a hobby for fun, so... Unfortunately, if you're just looking to follow me for one particular type of content, I don't really do one particular type of content. This whole thing is just a growing, fun experience, and I hope you guys enjoy that. I know some of you guys came later on and have seen some of the stuff I've recently started doing and like that, and, and have encouraged me to keep doing it, and that means a lot for someone who's very nervous about... I don't want to upset you guys, I just... I, I want it to be a fun experience for both of us. And this sort of leads on to an issue that it needs to be addressed. It, it's it been an issue, on, like something brought up on every single video up until this point. You can go through any video on my channel, whether it's related to it or not, and it's unavoidable to find somebody going, when's the next seer? And the thing with the seer is, I started doing that webcomic three years ago, all the way when I was back, still in college. I was still in school when I originally started doing it. And as I'm sure many of you understand, three years is a lot of time for, especially after leaving school and coming out into the grown-up world, it's a lot of time to, to change and mature and grow, and your interests change a whole lot. And I know my interests are certainly very different than they were three years ago. My goodness, they're very different. But, uh, so the things that inspired me back then don't really have the same level of passion behind them now, and that goes for the seer as well. I have found myself growing and getting interested and more passionate. I still have a lot of love for the series because it's... It's my roots with YouTube, but I find myself currently way more inspired by other things and I'm having fun exploring those other things. Now, that being said, it's I'm not ready to just straight up go, oh, it's over forever, but I will say that for the time being, it's being put on the shelf for hiatus because I just, I want to give you content that I'm, I feel like the content I make is way better when I'm inspired by it, and you guys will enjoy it more when it's something I'm inspired by. I don't ever want to be the content creator that produces just heartless stuff without any soul in it, simply to get it out there and keep doing it. I want it to be stuff I enjoy making it, so it it makes it that much better for you because you can tell. Um, who who knows what's in store? I mean, I I had a whole story planned out for it. If anything, if I find that I, you know, I, I need to take some time and I need to see how I feel after taking a break from it, if some of the inspiration comes back, uh, if anything, who knows, maybe if there's an artist or somebody I can talk to, maybe I could update them on the entire plans for the story and a new artist could take over and start writing for it. That's another thing that makes it hard for me to continue is when I was constantly updating the comic, it took a lot of time. And now that I'm doing YouTube as my full-time job, I don't have the time to do a webcomic to draw all the pages in ink and do all of that and plot. I was updating it once a week, and now I'm up updating YouTube two times, sometimes three times a week. And it doesn't leave a whole lot of time to also do a webcomic on the side. So perhaps if there was another artist, maybe... We can, we can see what happens. I'm, I'm not gonna straight up give up on the project yet. I just need to take a break from it. I need a breather. And I hope you guys will understand. I know some of you guys just found me because of the, the project. 
and I, I hate to leave you hanging while I take this hiatus, but it's, it's something that I need to do if I'm ever going to get the inspiration to go back to it. I know there's a lot of other comics and webcomic things going on, and some of them even within the creepypasta community, that you could probably read and I might be able to find and add some stuff to the link, but I'm, I'm sure there's lots of other fun things for you to read and watch and get involved with, and during this hiatus, I hope you'll stick by me with my stuff if you enjoy my other content. I'm still going to keep doing my songs and my readings and a lot of... A lot of other fun stuff, so, you know, I hope we've built enough of a rapport and a friendship over this time that it wasn't just the seer keeping you around. And I hope you'll stick with me because I've got a lot of fun stuff planned for our future. And sort of moving on from that bit of news, I actually, I wanted to talk about what I am focusing on right now. And as I touched on just a second ago, the music, I, that's currently sort of where my, where my passion has drifted to. I, I'm not super great at it yet, but I really enjoy making music. It's fun to me, I'm inspired by it, and I like making music around things that aren't already, hello floating cat here. I like making music about things that are kind of obscure, like the creepypastas and the different smaller characters from fandoms and stuff. I, I enjoy that. That's that's fun to me, and I like being able to give people theme songs for characters they thought they would never get songs for, and it's, it's really enjoyable to me right now, so I'm definitely going to keep doing that. That's where my heart is right now, and I'm going to keep collaborating with other artists. It's, it's Sometimes it's more work to collaborate than to just do it by yourself because of all the moving pipeline pieces, but it's so fun, and I feel like the, the end result of a collaboration is just wonderful for both parties, for everybody involved. So I'm gonna keep doing collaborations, and that actually leads to another thing that I've got in the works. See, I have been making original songs now. I've pumped out quite a few of them, and I've been tossing around the idea of doing my first album. People keep asking me about putting the music on iTunes and a bunch of other sites, and I was thinking about it and thought, you know, why why not try and do an album? I know I've got I've got the music for download for free on SoundCloud right now. So the album obviously it it would I'm just in the early development phases, but it would you know, I have artwork and it would have all the songs together and it would be something that you could buy just solely out of if you enjoy my work and if you want to support me. But uh, that I figure that might be something fun. I can put it on iTunes and a bunch of other places and just see what you guys think. I, I'll have to clean all the stuff up and fix it and make it pretty because I'm, I'm still learning and I can look back and see every little mistake. If there's any mis little mistake you hear in the song, you can be sure I'm aware of it and I cringe heavily every time I hear it. I'm gonna try and go back and fix as many of those as I can get my hands on before I release the album, but that's in the works. And one, one more thing related to the music is I might be drafting up something fun that you all can participate in. I might just have a little contest up my sleeve that I'm brewing, but I'll get to that in a later video when more of the details are nailed down. But let's just say if you have been enjoying my music and you've wanted to give things a go yourself, perhaps this may be a time for you. All right, no more spoilery stuff. Just one more thing before I draw this video to a close. I'm actually, I'm constantly thinking of ways to try and get get closer or more personal with you guys. So I'm thinking maybe it might be fun to try and do a weekly vlog like with my, my webcam and talk about things, talk with you guys. Just try and make it a little more personal if I can maybe make a goal of trying to do it approximately once a week. Maybe that might be fun. I don't know if you guys have an interest in vlogs with me in it where I share more stories and whatnot. You know, kind of like story time, but not always. Just just maybe a weekly update vlog, not even regarded to news. Just, just 
to let you in a little more to know me, because that's something I'm constantly working on. I am a very, very guarded person. It's funny because I do the whole YouTuber thing, but in reality, I am very introverted and very shy, so it's a work in progress. And then there's another cat here. I have cats. All right, well, thank you for sticking with me through this update video. I'm sorry there was a bit of rough news, but there's also some happy news, and I hope you guys will choose to stick with me because I really do love you guys and I appreciate everything you do for me. And I just want to keep growing this channel and seeing what we can do together. I want to bring you the best content I can, and it's not possible without you guys, so I really do appreciate everything. <sighs> Well, that's all for now, guys. I will catch you later. Bye for now!